what I'm gonna do is when I'm working on this light right here, and you can see this light has fallen off, and this is just a little odd job I'm doing for somebody. And that light has fallen off, and it keeps falling off, probably because this metal bracket in here doesn't fit the light fixture, or they don't have the proper screws, or whatever, whatever. I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do. This little metal box has to be screwed into something, so there's probably gonna be a piece of wood running right here, or right here, or right there, or right there, because there's ceiling joist up there, and that's nailed to something and it's solid, so it is nailed into a two by four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to basically drill this kit after getting the wires set up, I'm gonna drill the kit directly into the two by four. That's basically all I'm doing, and I'll show you um, how I'm gonna be doing that. And in order to do that, I'm basically gonna poke around this with a tiny nail and a hammer, and I'm gonna poke around until I find the wood where you can look up through the gaps and the cracks and find the wood that way. And once you find the wood, it's gonna be running either this way or it's gonna be running this way. And you wanna nail that metal, uh, nail the metal from this into that wood so that it cannot fall off. Therefore, you will not need these little bolts and if they don't match or if that thing's too small or too big, it doesn't really matter. The light's gonna cover around this area that it's already, um, that it's yellow. So anything inside there, hole or a little whatever, or this or that, isn't gonna matter, okay? So I'm gonna do that, and I'm checking to make sure the power is off by using the an electrical tester, which I'll link one of these in the description below. And you're gonna check the wires right now after turning it on, okay? It's on, there is no hot, no heat, but once I turn this on, we'll see what it does now. Okay, so you can see now there is heat, okay? There's heat now on those black wires, not on the white, so we're good. There's no black, there's no white wire that's actually hot, which they used to do that in older houses. And this is all neutral here. These blacks are gonna be hot. Let's check this neutral, okay? This is all safe. I'm gonna turn this light switch back off, check it one more time, and see if we're good. Yep, we're good. Now I can touch this wire and nothing's gonna happen, okay? But I'm not recommending you do this. I'm just showing you that you can do this. I would shut it off outside of the main panel breaker if you can. Anyway, now we know that. The blacks are all hot and the whites are all neutral. So the blacks will go to the blacks. The whites will go to the whites. And there's more wires in this box than normal. You can see there's two white wires and then there's this little pigtail that comes out, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep all the whites separate and the blacks separate. And the last thing I'm gonna show you right now is what I'm working on right now. Inside there, there is a ground screw because when you're dealing with a metal box, you have to ground the ground wire into the metal box in a plastic box. You don't have to do that, but you can start a fire if you don't ground the system. So I'm taking that out and I'm gonna ground um, the light find the ground on your light, which for me, here's the blacks, here's the whites, here's the ground. So I'm gonna make a loop on that ground and put it around that screw and tighten that screw back down. And I'll bring you right back once this light's hanging up in the on the ceiling. You can see now that this whole thing is hanging on that ground wire right there. The whole light's just dangling right here. Okay, I'm gonna show you what that looks like on the ground screw. You can see that ground screw, it's a flat head in there and you just wrap it around there. And there's two wires on there, um, but just make sure it's on there tight and that when you tighten it down, it can actually hang on it. Um, that way you know that it's actually on there, okay? Now, now that that's on there and hanging on there, you can see there's two white wires and in some case, there'll just be one white wire coming down and one black, like on this one has one black. Sometimes there'll just be one white. In my case, there's two whites and they connect onto a wire nut. And the third one is just a little pigtail that goes from the wire nut back this way. And it connects this little strip right here. And I don't know why they're doing all that, but I probably could cut this right here, but I'm just gonna leave it since it's already on there. 
And so basically it's just two whites coming down, wired at it with a little pigtail out here so that we can throw a, a connector here or there or whatever. And this one is just one white, uh, one black wire into a connector, which you could use a wire nut as well, which I prefer. And then going from the wire nut, there's a little pigtail coming out here, okay? Now this little pigtail that comes off the whites and this little pigtail that comes off the blacks, all you're gonna do is the two blacks from the light fixture are gonna connect to here. And you could also connect these to right here. It isn't gonna make a difference. Just the blacks from the light go to the blacks here. And the whites, okay, connect to the whites. So I'm gonna put those two whites from the light fixture to, to right here, right here, or right here. It does not matter. I'm just showing you this as an example. This is a good example because there's a lot of stuff going on. But at the end of the day, it's just white coming out, connect to the whites. Black coming out, connect to the blacks. Okay, so I'm gonna to put the blacks together and I'm gonna put the, uh, the whites together and you can see the ground is already done. So once I get the whites and the blacks together and wire netted, I'll show you what that looks like. What do you think, Chad? You think I can fix it? I think so too. So I have actually decided to get rid of all of the pigtails and all the junk. And you can see right here, I've got the whites coming down, the one black coming down, two blacks from the light fixture, two whites from the light fixture, and then the ground from the light fixture to that ground screw up above. Now I'm gonna connect these two whites to these two whites with a wire nut, and this one black to these two blacks with a wire nut, and I will show you right back in a minute. So this is what it looks like. The two whites coming down with a red wire nut to these two from the light fixture. The one black wire coming down with the two blacks from the light fixture with a yellow wire nut. And there's the ground, of course, going straight up to the metal box. If it's a plastic box, you do not have to ground it to the box. And now I'm gonna turn the light on to see if it works. There it is. The light is working. So you can see this is done now all i'm gonna do is take this and i'm actually gonna screw holes through uh use the holes they have and screw it into the wood which i found there's a uh, two by four running in the wall right here so i'm gonna run screws up through that hole and through the hole on the other side which is right there two of them into this stud over here so i'm gonna slightly move this light over a little bit like that and i'll bring you right back so you can see there's two holes right here and i did not use both of them i only used one and then i put another screw in right there just straight through the metal the reason that i did that is because the stud in the wall is running right down here which you can see all those screw holes right there 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 all the way down so there's a piece of wood in there and i attached it here and i attached it there and it's very solid, very sturdy. It's a little bit over here, so I'll have to paint right here. But now I'm gonna put the kit on and I'll bring you right back. The kit, all you do is literally slide it on. There's only a couple of pieces right here. And you take this glass piece and you're gonna slide it on to that little piece right there. So it'll stick out the bottom like that. So you can see, push that all the way up and it sticks out a little bit. And then I'm going to put this little trim kit on and this little nut holds it all together. And I'll bring you right back. So you can see the light fixture is on. There's a little trim kit and nut holding the glass piece on. Jed's in here and he's gonna turn on the light. See if it works. It works, we're golden. If this video was helpful in any way, go ahead and like it. Subscribe to the channel if you like home improvement videos and I will see you next time. Bye.